What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw for TV, and uh, in this video, man, I want to talk about um, Russell Westbrook, man. Um, you know, Russell Westbrook is probably my favorite player right now, active player in the NBA. I love his intensity. Um, I love the way he approaches the game. He's not perfect. There are things about him that um, annoy me like other people, like other people fine with his game. Um, but this video, I'm going to have to be real about something, man. Um, I think Russell is going through something uh, psychologically as far as when it comes to um, his shot, man. Um, he's, he's having... Um, a career worst year as far as efficiency. And um, I got to be consistent because if I talk about James Harden, right, only shooting 44% from the floor. I, now, I understand James Harden takes a lot of three-pointers. I get that. And it's going to affect his field goal percentage. But at the same time, Stephen Curry takes probably even more three-pointers than James Harden. And he shoots respectably like 47, 48, 49% from the floor. Um, but if I get on him and I talk about past players like Antoine Walker and even Rajon Rondo, you know, uh, a current player, I, I look at Russell Westbrook and um, the field goal percentage, only 41.7%. I think this is the worst shooting percentage he's had in his career since his rookie year, and only marginally better than his second year, I think. His deep point percentage is horrid. I think it's only 24%. But what really gets me is the free throw percentage. Um, he's only shooting about 62% from the foul line, which is down 10 points from last year where he shot 72% from the foul line which was down itself from uh, his career average, which uh, he's always been generally around an 80-plus percent free throw shooter. He's always been a good free throw shooter. Um, I don't know if there's something psychological going on with Russell Westbrook when it pertains to foul shots. I know there's been some – there had been some games – during uh, the first, I remember there were some games during the first season where he averaged a triple-double where he inexplicably missed some free throws down the stretch. And I don't know whether that has carried on psychologically with him. Um, but for a guy to go from shooting like around 81, 82% from the foul line, a respectable and good free throw shooter, to becoming an average one like he was last year at 72%, to becoming a borderline awful one this year at 62%. I think the last game he was only 2 or 6 from the foul line. I, I strongly believe there's something psychological going on there, man. Um, it reminds me a little bit of Nick Anderson. Nick Anderson, uh, of course, was – one of the early scorers with Orlando Magic before the emergence of Shaquille O'Neal, um, before Shaq and uh, Penny Hardaway. Nick Anderson was their first option on scoring. And uh, he, he was always um, not great, but he would shoot around 70-plus percent from the foul line. And then, of course, game one of the 1995 NBA Finals happened where he missed four consecutive free throws, which – kept the uh, game open for the uh, Houston Rockets, and Kenny Smith hit the biggest shot of his career. And uh, a game that the Magic should have closed out due to Nick Anderson, if he had just made one of those free throws, uh, went to overtime. Houston won that game, and they proceeded to win the next three games and sweep the series. I think that psychologically affected Nick Anderson because – for the rest of his career, he was a substandard free throw shooter. In fact, I believe it was one year when he shot 
around 40% from the foul line. So these things do happen psychologically. Um, I remember John Starks, who was usually a dependable foul shooter. In certain pressure situations, he would miss and miss badly. LeBron James, he's a 74% career free throw shooter. Not tremendous, but about average. But I'm willing to bet in fourth quarter situations in his career, his percentage is probably a little bit lower, probably more like in the mid-60s. You know, so... But going back to Russell Westbrook, there's definitely something, in my opinion, going on there. Uh, Whenever he shoots outside shots... Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine about this just today. It he he seems to be oftentimes pushing his shot rather than shooting off of his fingertips. It's like he's pushing it, line driving it, maybe. And um, you know, I don't I don't know. And also, Russell Westbrook is starting to uh, get away from things that. We're working for him earlier in the year. Uh, he's starting to shoot more and more three pointers, which is uh, sort of, you know, I, I don't understand why you're a player who is shooting horribly from three point range, but yet you continue to shoot a lot of them as if you're trying to somehow get out of a slump. But you're not in a slump, you're just not a good three point shooter. And um, he has a great mid-range pull-up game. And I really wish that he would eschew from shooting three-pointers. And I wish that he would rely more on his mid-range game. Because he has a very good mid-range game. Um, So, uh, you know, there's that. And... The turnovers are, are piling up a little bit more. Um, at, at one point in the season, he was averaging about three and a half turnovers. Now he's, I think it's more like four and a half, four point six or something like that. So there's there's some things that he's doing. Uh, he's getting a little bit more careless with the basketball at times, and um, you know that that's that's just that's just I'm just being honest, you know. Um, I always tell people I'm not a fanboy, and I can be critical of anybody as far as being an NBA player. Anybody. And um, the last game that the Wizards, excuse me, that uh, the Thunder lost, um, I, I think a lot of it was at the hands of Russell Westbrook. And uh, despite the fact he had a triple double. And. Um, I think Russell needs to get back a little bit more to the things that were working for him earlier this year. And the thing that really gets me is he got to get his confidence back when it comes to um, shooting, because I think it's a confidence thing now. Um, I get it. I get the competitiveness of him. Like I'm going to, I might've missed my last six, three points going to make six in a row. But the numbers show that you're not a good three-point shooter. You know, you're, you're just not. And um, for you to consistently keep shooting them like that, it's hurting the team, you know. Um, but now that I've been bashing him, I guess, for uh, the duration of this video, I want to say some good things about him. Um the last game that he played, he uh, got a triple-double, and it was the 116th triple-double of his career. And with that, he is now only uh, 20, 22 triple-doubles away from tying Magic Johnson. And um, he's the third most prolific triple-double machine of all time, behind only Oscar Robertson and Magic Johnson. When I say prolific, I mean he gets triple-doubles at a rate that is the third uh, highest in NBA history behind only those two guys. And um, while he's an exciting player to watch, there are some things that I think he needs to work on um, and, and
and get his confidence back as far as shooting because it's it's bleeding over into different areas of his game. And um, that's all there is to it, man. This guy really needs – I remember Michael Jordan – Started off in the 98 season shooting like only 70% from the foul line. And um, he was struggling from the free throw line and uh, for the first time in his career. And um, supposedly he just went and like practice, practice, you know, practice his free throws incessantly going through the motions and I think he uh, went on to make like 40 free throws in a row or something like that. And, um, yeah, I think Russell needs to do something like that, man. But tell me what you guys think.